primer today, I'm going to be using the original primer potion by Urban Decay. And I'm just going to place a small amount of this all over my eyelid up to the brow bone. My Urban Decay 3 palette and the first shade that I'm going to use is this one here called Nooner. Large fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to bring that color all the way into the crease and I'm just going to blend it back and forth until everything is really nicely diffused and soft. spark I'm going to go in with this color buzz from the palette and I'm just going to focus inside the crease using a smaller blending brush and I'm just going to repeat the same motions that I did before a little bit more I'm going to use this color here called black heart and I'm only going to put it on the outer V of my eye using a flat eyeshadow brush and then I'm going to go back in using a blending brush to blend everything out and smoke it out and really diffuse it and make it look really soft and blend it in with the other eyeshadows look just a little bit I'm gonna go in with this color dust and I'm just using my fingertip to place it on the lid and you just want to place it in the inner portion of the lid don't cover up the black heart and just dab it to highlight my brows I'm just going to go in with this color strange using a blending brush I'm just going to highlight the brows and also blend out the colors in the crease. Time to bring this sparkle up a notch. I'm using the Eye Candy Glitters in Double Bubble. It is a very pretty pink. And I'm using my LA Splash eyeshadow base as a adhesive for my glitter and I'm just going to place it on the inner part of the lid and bring it really close into the tear duct but not all the way and this is just a really festive touch and makes your eyes sparkle and it is just very fun and girly Whenever you're working with glitter, make sure to always do your eyes first because you will have some fallout and that way you can always go back and wipe it off before you start your foundation. For gel eyeliner, I'm using Makeup Geek's Immortal Gel Eyeliner and I'm just going to create the usual cat eye look that I always create. I do have a separate video on this if you would like to check it out in more detail. And of course you want to have really luscious lashes for this very special day so I doubled up and used the Demi Wispies as well as the number 523 by Red Cherry. Using my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation with the Sigma F80 brush, I'm just going to place this all around the perimeter of my face and down the bridge of my nose. 
and I'm going to leave the under eye area blank. Now to highlight and brighten up my face, I'm going to use this Flower BB Cream in BB1 and I'm just placing it underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, along the forehead and on the chin. And with my pointed foundation brush, I'm just going to blend everything out, alternating between my fingers and the brush to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. Now going in with my trusty Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, I'm going to use the color Vanilla and I'm just going to lightly dust underneath my eyes to set the concealer and also brighten up this area as well. And going in with the shade Java, I'm going to contour my face with the contour brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to carve out the hollows of my cheeks and place them on the sides of my forehead and along the hairline. To deepen up that contour just a little bit, I'm going to go in with the color Havana and I'm only going to place it on the first half of the contour and I'm not going to go all the way down. Using the color Fawn from the kit, I'm just going to contour the sides of my nose and here I'm using a Sonia Kasha contour brush for this. Now I'm just going to go in with the color Sand and I'm just going to highlight my face and I'm going to place a really light dusting of this on the forehead down the bridge of my nose and this is just going to give me that Photoshop look and diffuse all the lines and just make my whole overall look very soft. blush I'm going to go in with this color here by Benefit. It is called Throb and it's a very very light pink and I'm just going to dust this on the apples of my cheeks and then bring it up all the way towards the hairline. To finish off my eye look I'm going to use this color Trick from my palette and I'm just going to dust this on the lower lash line and you really want to go back and forth with your brush with this to soften it and also blow it out a little bit. And then all that is left is to add your favorite black mascara to your lower lashes. Here I'm using Clump Crusher by CoverGirl. For my lips, I'm using NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream in Instant Bold. And I'm just going to place this all over my lips and it dries a really nice matte. Here is the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.